Catch up. Oh my goodness, didn't even give you time. Rain Town versus we'll Full Frontage. <laughs> yeah. Rain Town versus Full Frontage. Woo! They're getting right into it. Two! This is. What is this? And check these bands. We've got Minor Pump Band down there, so we won't see any of that pump shenanigans that we saw last time. I think that was a good band to pull up here. Minor, obviously, the standard band. Nobody wants to see that ish. Not even fun to watch. Yo! Giant coming in on the right hand side. We see the giant. Where's the Valkyrie? He needs the full frontage, really needed that Valkyrie there, unfortunately. This matchup is for the Twitch Dragon Rights. <laughs> Yes, we've got two streamers in the house. Raintown versus Full Frontage, like what? <laughs> Coming in, Raintown Key Let's get some yeah. hype. If you're if you're a fan of Raintown, show some hype in the in the in the chat. If you're a fan for Full Frontage, show some hype in the chat. Yo, yeah, give us that FF versus RT in the chat. Both running a giant deck, even with no elixir pump. Interesting. You know what? I almost would argue that pump is not needed. It's one of those things, if you're not worried about the minor, then you can play sort of a counter. You can play a low cost and really but if we still notice, like, the, the last series we did, what won most of those games? <laughs> it was the... the no, well, I'm gonna say it was the Inferno Tower, but yes. No, pump, I mean, like, what gave them the advantage, sure. though? Like, they could build the advantage because there was no minor, obviously. And people weren't being smart and poisoning the elixir pumps. So, now that there's no elixir pump to worry about, we still have poison, we have no minor to worry about as well. I want to see some... What, it, like... Golems thrown in there because you don't have to worry That's about what we need. Some... We don't. Well, okay, but we've seen the Inferno, right? Yeah. I expected Inferno in both these decks. You know and we haven't seen the last card, so it's that'll really be really interesting that we don't have not seen in this tournament. We haven't seen really Sparky. That's true. Where's the giant Sparky? Where's Trainer Chris at? Yo, that kind of stuff is the stuff that might throw people off. I haven't seen Sparky in tournaments in a while, and it was really, really doing work. Like, it's it's not a weak deck by any means. I think the biggest problem is the pump. You really want the pump for the giant Sparky deck, and so I think that's kind of This what giant, though, on the tower is going to do a crazy amount of damage. And the poison's really going to get some poke damage off on that mini P.E.K.K.A. Let's see if he has the guards back in his hand yet. Can he target? No, he had to, he had to, he had to lure the mini P.E.K.K.A. with another giant. So he didn't have the guards right away. The poison's gonna take away those guards, and uh, that was sort of that was sort of an unfortunate one. Wow, that mini peck is still alive. That princess, though, can she put him away? Oh, no. oh she lives. Yes, perfect. The she's princess still the poison. Lives. She's gonna start being. She's really not in the poison. Oh, now. he has to zap her. But that's gonna be hurting with that mini peck against that tower right there. He drops his own mini peck. Goes down. This mini could be game. Tower. One tower. Two tower. And that is a tower. Oh. Rain Town G G. Holy! Wow. Now look how close that oh, was. Look though. at this. We talked about this last health. week. He didn't show his last card. Didn't show his last card. Classic indicator that you're running something that you shouldn't be running. Um. And it was the giant loon. He was running balloon. You know what? I feel like that was a mistake. He should. I don't know much about Jake. Exactly, he's one that we haven't really seen yet. Clyde with the Ice Spirit in the back, he must have not... Yeah, it doesn't have anything. There we go, another giant Musketeer. Okay, I, I think we might be looking at two... We might trifecta. be looking at a giant Trifecta, yeah. Oh, we might be looking at a... Double oh, giant. Ooh, Prince! Prince! Woo! We're looking That's at a Prince! Prince comes in on that left-hand side. Oh, Guards just barely puts it away. I, it might even... It's still... No! no! Barbs puts it away! Does, Clyde does not let that Prince go to tower. Barbs is going to shut down Giant on the right-hand side. Hard. Fire Spirits! Woo! Fire Spirits shut down first. those. Fire Spirits we see. Where have they been? Yeah, where have they been? That's such but a good card. Low it was, cost, two cost It's card. in a deck that, he, that really needed the Fire Spirits in it. Honestly. We haven't really seen much Barbarians. We've seen, we've seen Guards. That's true. We've seen Guards over Barbs. And we haven't seen... Uh, yeah, and we haven't seen Prince. Jay, man, Jay coming out here with the offhand you know, deck. I think that is a good move for him. You know, it's something you're not used to countering against. Where is that double prince mini packet deck from? Honestly, like nowhere. It's whole... been it's been doing work in ladder. I've seen people do it. I've been really seeing it in it. tournaments too. Like I've been seeing it in this this competition though, because the like we've been banning cards that should make that deck effective. I bet you it's just not their comfort deck. So you, you, yeah. The people, yeah, like we talked about, they want to play into the comfort decks. They want to play good. Uh. Jay, maybe this is Jay's comfort deck. Maybe the Prince is his comfort deck. He's got three cards that we haven't seen. I'm, I, I be, I'm hoping one of those is the second Prince. Maybe we'll see some mini pack. Probably not because of the barbs, but who knows? You know what? Clyde has the standard, standard deck right now. When you're not, when you're so controlled on running, there's the other oh, Prince. There's our Prince. 
when you can search world on running your elixir collectors and getting that elixir advantage, you don't have to, you have to be very, very cautious about how you spend your elixir. Yep, and I feel like playing the Dark Prince on the left-hand side, he really needed to shut down the Musketeer. So he's going to take some pretty good damage here on the right-hand side. Was really not a very good poison either. Yeah, I I feel like I feel like Jay is kind of struggling here. He needs to find his group. He needs to really. Giant does get a hit up on the tower, taking that tower under. No, right, uh, right above, right above five hundred. Right above five hundred. He goes for the second push. In fact, smart move by Clyde to Double really punish him. Down. The double princess is going to be so annoying. It's going to put in great work. There we go. That that is arguably a really good poison. That's you definitely, definitely going to be a tower. That tower there. is definitely right side tower is gone with thirty seconds left. I don't think Jay's going to be able to. Double Prince, though. Yeah, but guards, man. Guards is so good, especially against the Double Prince, especially if you can split him. Jay, and with the guards right now, Jay hasn't even had to split him to put in work. Jay's forced to really put down these pushes, and now he's not going to be able to make I feel like an effective blow push on the left-hand side. Instead of Barbarians, he should have been running guards in the deck. Well, it would have been a little bit lower cost, but it wouldn't have shut down the Giant. I, If anything... Double Prince Inferno, oh, that's his... sort of like a standard. I want to see what his last card is, because again, he did not play his not last card. Not playing the last card, something we talked about all the time. Let's check out what his last card was. And... He was running Double double Prince. Talked about how Carter now, was putting in work. J Monty's played in a lot of my tournaments. We've also seen him in this thing, this, this whole competition. He's been, I think, every single week. Oh, he's been a threat. He is a very good player. Carter... Hawk, coming on the left side side. Shut down by that uh, cannon. That's the first cannon we've seen. Yep, and you know what? I'm excited. Finally, we've seen cannon. I, I would have expected Inferno, but we've seen cannon. We've seen, you know, nice, now we finally nice seen princess. something to shut that down. They're both playing the hog deck. Here we go. One hit off. So they've traded even. They've traded pretty much even. Great princess right there. Princess Ooh, those minis are going to get some hits on the tower. Annoying. Woo! Great poke damage. He got the one hit off the princess. He got the hit off the minions. And now another one here. Was, uh, where was that at? Was he, able, he was able to cycle so fast that he could play another princess. Now, they both look like they're running the same deck. Besides the carry go for the guards. That's well, the only thing different. We'll see now. when if that if maybe guards will come out for Jay Monte. Ooh, Furnace! Nice! Okay, yeah. Why haven't we seen this? Why haven't we seen Furnace pushes? Furnace? I, I think Furnace Mortar, actually, is you something know, that we haven't seen that is actually extremely strong, especially against the, Giant and the Hog. The reason why I feel like we have not seen the Furnace is because people are so used to running that Furnace with the Mine. They haven't they haven't branched out. They haven't tried to They're stuck with that Furnace stuff. Miner concept that, oh, that's the only way the Furnace works. But no, there's so many different ways. You can run a Furnace Lava Hound deck. You can run Furnace Balloon. You can run Furnace Giant Golem. Like, whatever you want to throw at that Furnace, because all it's there to do is just take out the air, de air defense. And get some drop damage. Get and some it does damage. so well. It even shuts down guards. Like it's yes. such a good, it's such a good card. It will the hog. Here we, we go. Hog shut down by the mini Pekka. And that, all right, and the giant, giant hog. Nice. So I don't think we he really expected to see that giant. He needs to cycle back through to that cannon. Can he even get it? Those minions though are gonna do work here. Doing mad damage. Those minions shut down the tower. The freak. Woo! Giant and minions. No minions shut down by the other minions. No. No. What's that? going on? That's tower. That's tower. So, okay, so Carter's already up a tower. He's only down a thousand damage. Hammers, man, coming through against Jay Monte here. That was so good. Holding on to the giant until he didn't have the cannon. Well played, Carter. Well played. I that that is I, I play of the bag? I think we're getting a play of bag here. Here we go. Infernus. Now he can start poke damaging the left hand side. All he's gotta do is guards this mini pack. Nice pull yep. there. To get the princess and pull the mini. Freeze! Away. Nice! First freeze we've seen that gotta be used offensively. He got the freeze off on the tower and he got two hits on the hog. That could have been dangerous. Jay Monty could have sent this into overtime. He's got 20 seconds and his deck cycles so fast, he might even be able to do it. No, uh, he he's decided got that not to. on that side though. That's a really yeah. strong push he has to worry about, especially with the fire spirits in there. Gonna clean up those guards. And then, see now the giant's on the tower, cannon has to be dropped. Mini pack is full health on the tower. That is definitely gonna be two towers right there. Woo! And the BM freeze! Carter takes it! Wow, man. Well wow. played by Carter. Well played. Absolutely destroyed. And that, is, mean, that is epic. Interesting to see. Here we go. Storoni from Elite Gaming versus Naruto versus Hammer Esports. Let's get it. Prince! Prince. Naruto drops the Prince in the back. Nice. Unfortunately, he needed it on the left side. But hey... That's interesting to see right off the bat. Guards, okay. Guards to shut down the uh, the princess. Nice ice spirit, ice spirit, uh, ice wizard combo. 
The and Zap that was it? Uh. Yeah, I feel like so. Sorority's Sorority's down in Elixir, but he's he's got sort of this like Ice Wizard sort of poke damage that he can get on the right side. I kind of expected him to take advantage of it if he did it. So maybe he's looking to get some sort of slow roll thing going. No, oh, Hog right. on the left hand side. Why didn't he play that on the right though? Why didn't he take advantage of the Ice Wizard? He wanted to split up the push though. He didn't want him to have the mini pack up with the giant on the side. It cost him. It cost him a lot though. And, and here's here's the okay guards for classic mini pack a very good counter Burn, oh, nice inferno ice there spirit we go. nice done with that ice spirit guards as well there we here. go this could Woo! be bad. zap I think he'll at least take out the no uh, counter zap prince is getting a tower he doesn't get the charge he gets the charge off wow That's Naruto big. Woo! big push by Naruto right there and, and we the see the rage from out. sorority must be ticking himself for getting that down. I feel like the uh, the musketeer counter in a giant deck isn't as good against the mini pack unless how, you can you know follow it up. But see how strong that musketeer is though. Woo! That musketeer shut down liner, shut down the princess, almost shut down the ice. The and ice it was wizard. in poison. Yeah, musketeer guys. Woof, woof. It's one of those cards that if you're getting the value out of Musketeer, you're winning the game. But you have to get the value out of it. You can't screw around. You can't You can't lose the value. You know what I no. mean? You can't just drop it. It needs to be countered. Hawk coming on the left-hand side. There we go. That's what we want to see. The Ice Spirit's going to stop the Mini P.E.K.K.A. That way, Hawk can get a hit on Tower. Two hits on Tower. And now he's evening. Steroidy's evening this game back up. And Naruto can't I feel really like he do anything because he's got a slow Wait deck. Did. Drop the guards to stop the stop the Mini P.E.K.K.A. instead of having to waste his Zap on it. Yeah, and yeah, I, maybe he... I don't know why he dropped them on the right-hand side. They're not really that good of a counter to the Giant. He did shut it down, though, so he stopped the Giant. He only really took the poke damage from the Poison. Musketeer oh, right here, oh, though. Oh, that Musketeer locked on the tower. Damage. Guards to stop the Hog. It got zapped. Zap, uh, the Zap on the Guards, though, man, it doesn't even take down the Shield. It's not a very we good play. We talked about that. It's not, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that you don't, you only want to do if you absolutely have to. He's pushing with the Hog Rider again. Sorority's deck is just so fast. It's just so fast. It's like, Hog, 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 Hog. You always have to deal with it. He knows now that Naruto has no defense, and he's punishing him. He's taking advantage. He's putting But double back pushes on both sides. This is going to be tough. Well, Maybe. that's where the Inferno Tower comes in. That's where the Inferno Tower really needs to do work here. If he can... Yeah, nice. nice. He's going to need to target effect. the right things. Unfortunately, the Poison's going to shut it down, and he's going to get Giant to Tower. That's going to be Tower on the right-hand side. He needs this Hog to put in work. Oh! And he does! Oh! Hog takes tower on the oh, left hand side of that game! Woo! At the last second! At the last second! Oh that was my goodness. Intense. That was Naruto's game. All he had to do was zap the hog, shut down the hog for one more second, and he just he just he used all his here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, the quick hog! Nice, I almost feel like he should have did that a little bit faster, but he is going to get hog to tower. Who's Hog's going to get one hit. They both zapped. It was a double zap. Hog, two hits, three hits on hog. But three hits minions, on hog, man. and those minions put in work. Great play. That's one of those plays where you just have to, whoa, you got to go for it so fast. And you know what? They did it. They, he got it off. Like, if you don't get that play off, it, it, it's, it's like such a hindrance. But man, Chief Mystical, great work. Any counter, the hog didn't even take hits. Well played. Uh, Godly. Godly's kind of out of his zone now. He's like, crap, I need to come back. Hog already. Look at these cycle decks. We keep seeing But they're both really the cannon. He needed that decks. cannon and dope in himself that first hog pitch. If he would have had that, I think he would have done a lot better. He did not have that in his hand. Yeah, so now, and because their decks are so low, now he can have it. So it's going to be who can shut down the cannon and then get their hog to tower. And he's running Ice Wiz and Princess in a hog cycle deck, which is very unique. I don't, I don't, I personally don't run into Ice Wizard and Princess and it's a Hog Cycle. The double legendary with Hog Cycle, it is kind of high, right? They're both three. It's like, mm, but I, I mean, you're going to get value out of them. When Miner's banned, when Punk's banned, Princess and Ice Wizard, they're, they're, they're not going to be bad choices. I think it was more of comfort choices. Uh, I like, but yeah, I, I would like, argue, I would argue that that's kind of weird in a I feel like the guards would have been better for one of those legendaries. Exactly, guards, that's what he needed. He needs the guards. Maybe they, the fire I don't know speed, if he could play him. Fire they speed, Hog Rider push is so strong. Because you can't really drop anything to defend. You can't drop goblins. Or even the... Minions. Yeah, even the Ice Spirit to at least stop them so you can get the three hits off. And we've seen that a bunch, so... Here we go. Minions in the back. Arguably a weird choice. He's gonna... Oh, he's gonna do that okay, here we go. He's push. going for the Hog Push. There's the cannon. Nice deflect the Hog Rider to the cannon. It almost went by it. Yeah, it almost pushed. He almost got it away. I, I would argue, though, he should be doing... I can't remember who was doing it last week, but what they were doing is they were getting the minions... 
to surround their hog, and the cannon will target a a, 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 a goblin. So yeah, the tap the tap the cannon will target one goblin first. That lets basically your hog get to cannon put the, on, put the, on put damage. Put the minions here, and the hog right behind them. Exactly. It'll go, it'll push and push. Exactly. And you, but you only want one because you want you want the other two to take out the cannon. Yeah. That's the kind of pushes that destroy. Right now, he hasn't been able to do that. He hasn't really been able to shut, but honestly, like, shut down cannon. But honestly, Loves deck should be able to. To, to handle this because he's he's running goblins, he's running minions. Like that's what a princess excels at. Oh, and it's the lightning! His last card is the lightning. Well played. He saved it to the end. He's gonna get four hits off of that hog, and now he's back in this game. He bided his time, he set up the play. Great play by Godly. Or should we say godly play by Godly? <laughs> Let's go. Hog coming in on that left that right comes hand side. Up. Yes, and he finally he shuts down the cannon. He's gonna get a hit off. It's not enough to put the tower away. Nice, nice Ice Wizard to deflect that at the last second really put, really stops Princess? it. Princess to get the poke damage. All he's got to do is put it in lightning range and it's game. I think that's what he's going for. He's trying to really put it in lightning range. It's so close. He needs one hog hit and a lightning to put that away. And in fact, he might be able to get it. Chief Mystical knows he has to really start playing something here. That's good. Keep the pressure on when you know you're going to lose if you, if you have Ooh, to that's Zap. Keep the pressure on. Zap shuts down the cannon. Fireball for game. That's going to be... No, he gets shut down last second. Nope, but Mini Pekka makes it. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't get the hit. And here we go. I believe this is going to... Here, we're going to see Why the lightning hog right for here? game. The counter push. No, he chose not to lightning. Hog is going to almost make it without lightning. He needed the lightning, man. He needed it's the honestly, lightning. Chief Mystical is probably going to take this just because of the fact that the lightning is not going to do enough to take it out and it costs so much. He, needs a, he needed that surprise. Well, okay, but this princess is getting poke damage right ooh, here. Ooh. One more hit. It Does gets get it. One more. Is that a lightning? It's not enough. Lightning. Can, no, it is enough. It is enough. It's who's ever is faster. Lightning poison? Lightning uh, zap? Will that do it? Yeah, lightning zap will do it at that level. It's 440 plus 75. He's choose, he chose not to do it. I don't know if he checked his cards. It. I, yeah, he, you can hold the card down to check. He should have checked. Here we go, Mini Pekka coming in, and that's game with Fireball. Oh, I, why did he hold Why did he not do it? God, uh, go, where so were you? Check, I'm gonna check. Uh, where were damage. you? I want to check. He had 507 damage. On yeah, the check. Tower go ahead and go ahead and jump into tournament. So Lightning does uh, 68. 60, so okay, 68. Okay. And, and then. Uh, no, it doesn't do enough. It's only 340.